हेलो एंड वेलकम टू कोश अकेडमी अनवाइंडिंग द कोश ऑफ योर नॉलेज मेनी टाइम्स ड्यूरिंग टेस्टिंग वी कम अक्रॉस सिनारियोज वेर वी नीड टू टैली द टोटल नंबर ऑफ ड्रॉप डाउन वैल्यूज इन दिस वीडियो विल सी थ्री डिफरेंट अप्रोचेस ऑफ गेटिंग द टोटल नंबर ऑफ वैल्यूज ऑफ अ ड्रॉप डाउन यूजिंग ट्रांसेंटिस टर्सका लेट्स गो अहेड सो वी हैव हियर अ ड्रॉप डाउन नेम्ड एज सॉर्ट बाय व्हिच इज हैविंग टोटल six values i have already created a module for this and i have created a test case so that we can get the total number of counts so we are going to look into three different approaches so let's start one by one let's drag and drop this module firstly we'll see this using child element count so let's name this for our convenience using child element count so for this drop down in the value we have to provide here child element count and let's save this in a buffer we we'll have its name as children and the action mode set to buffer so here whatever count we get is stored in children buffer Let's give it a run. It is passed. Let's check the results. So, buffer with name children has been set to value six. Similarly, we'll see our different approach. Again, I'll drag and drop this. We will see it using length attribute, length property. So in this case, in the value, you have to write length over here, and we will name this buffer as values. Set action mode to buffer. So the value of length will be stored in values buffer. Let's give it a run. The buffer with name values has been set to value six, and the last and the third approach is using result count. So, for using result count, here we have to create a generic list item. Set. We'll drag and drop this. This one is using result count. So here for item. You have to provide result count and name of the buffer. You set count and set the action mode to buffer. Let's give it a run. Your buffer with name count has been set to value. Six. So, in case of result count, if you directly provide it over here, it takes the selected value, which is one. So, it will always be one. So, in order to get the total number of items, we have to create a generic list item and then use result count. I hope this video helps you.